We've been here for the better part of 10 years, and Chiefs tattoos have always been prevalent in Kansas City, but not like they are now. Like, it's different. People are coming in, you know, two or three times a week for Chiefs tattoos, and they're getting bigger and, and, and crazier tattoos, showing more love for their team. They're doing everything from arrowheads to dream catchers to portraits to the KC Wolf to Kelsey Mahomes, Andy Reid, Tyreek Hill. Mahomes is the centerpiece to all of it. If it wasn't for Mahomes, there wouldn't be any of that excitement. So it all starts there. Everybody knows you need a good quarterback for a good team, and now we finally have one. Now I have an inbox completely full of people wanting Chiefs tattoos. We don't just tattoo Chiefs fans, we tattoo Chiefs players here too. I've been tattooing Chiefs players since 2009. We've tattooed Tyreek Hill here, Cameron Irving, Sharkandrick West, the list goes on and on. So this is definitely the spot for Chiefs tattoos. I named my dog Mahomes last December when we, after we had drafted him and everybody was like, what if he's a bust, what if he's a bust? And I was like, he ain't, he ain't gonna be a bust. You can be down two touchdowns and have faith that you're gonna win. You know what I mean? So I, it's just different and who knows what to expect this year. Uh, that kid could do anything. How, I don't care if, if it was Alex Smith or, or Trent Green or whoever the hell threw the ball for us, your whole life, if you were gonna be in a big game as a Chiefs fan, you knew you were gonna lose. For the first time ever, I'm standing in front of my TV and I'm like, Nah, this kid can do it. You know what I mean? This kid, we're, we got this. So that's weird. That's hard to get used to as a Chiefs fan. But I still think he can, man. I think he's going to bring that Lombardi home. Mahomes, he's got a Mahomes portrait and a Kelsey portrait. I've always wanted uh, sports memorabilia and things that meant something to me growing up. I finally found the right artist to be able to do those types of things because you can't just get any type of person to do portraits. So whenever I found Jeremy, he put uh, the puzzles to my pieces back together that I've been thinking about since I was 12 years old throwing the ball with my, you know, my brother. It's just been something I've wanted my whole life. Well, just anytime you do a portrait, like Mahomes, for instance, capturing his likeness, uh, matching his skin tone, a facial expression, those are all the hardest parts to do. The eyes, nose, mouth is always most important, and having a good, clear photo is important too. I'm just a big Chiefs fan, man, so it's like I'm getting to do my job with something that I love. And Mahomes is a Greek god, so, you know, I wouldn't be this excited to tattoo Matt Castle.